I'm Jackie Jacobson. I'm over 18. I'm 5'8 and I'm with Coast to Coast. Okay guys, today I am going to be talking and watching my very first audition videos. These are from way back in the files that I have recovered. They are ancient history. Um, and I'm going to be watching these today and reacting to them probably cringing a lot, but hopefully you guys get some useful tips out of these, um, what you shouldn't do, or maybe what you should do, because I guess I'm here now, so maybe I was doing something right when I was nine or eight years old. First things first, we have the very first audition I ever had. If you watched my last video, I said that the very first movie that I ever did was called The Golden Rule. And we're gonna be watching my audition tape from the Golden Rule. And just to prove to you guys how old this was, my name in this audition is Jacqueline Jacobson. This was before I was even Jackie. I was before Jackie R. This is Jacqueline Jacobson. This is probably the only audition I've ever used the name Jacqueline in my life. I stopped using Jacqueline in first grade. All right, this says it was nine years ago, nine. Nine years ago, what was I doing nine years ago? I don't know, let's find out. Alrighty. I am so scared. Okay, so it starts off, the golden rule, Jacqueline Jacobson, Judaism slash Russian. Okay. Thank you. Just holding my name. <gasps> Hi, I'm Jackie Jacobson, and I'm nine years old. Reading, well, I speak Russian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, first of all, the hair. I love it. Second of all, um, always wear a bright color. I remember I wore this shirt to probably every single audition I've literally ever gone to when I was this age because I thought it made my eyes look greener and I thought it was also a really cute color. Um, that was the scariest slate I have ever seen. I think I just walked in there and yelled at them. Look at those chompers. Okay, continue. <laughs> Should I do it in English? Oh my god, I was so nervous. What is hateful to you, do not do to your neighbor. This is the whole Torah. All the rest is commentary. I would say always have your sides memorized because my eyes were down that entire time. You could not even see my face. Um, so I would say have your sides memorized before you go into the room so they could see your face and you could actually act normally and not just look down. I didn't know that back then, so whatever. Do you know what that means? Um, like, it's kind of like the treat people the way you want to be treated. So if you're, don't, you know, if something is bad to you, don't stress it out on your friend or someone close to you. Don't stress it out on your friend. And that's what it's kind of basically saying. I was and, so confident um, when I said that. I was like, that is what the golden rule means. Well, my friend and I, we have like thousands of friends. <laughs> Did you see the little shift? I was like looking at them normally and I was like, wait, look pretty. And then I went like that. It's like nail the polish colors. Oh no, I was gonna get that color, but no, you got that color. It's the weirdest things. It's like nail polish colors. And we get into a, the biggest fight about that. It, uh. I'm like, I'm so pressed during this video. I'm like talking about the fight about the nail polish colors and I'm getting progressively more mad as I am talking about this video. <laughs> so, knowing what your line means, yeah. and kind of knowing that it means the golden rule, mm -hmm. will you go ahead and do your lines one more time and just sort of say it like, you know, you're talking to your friends? In or Russian or in English? Both. Ask questions, that's good. Ask questions during your auditions if you're unsure. Okay. Okay, so I apologize for messing up. Never do that. If you're in an audition room and you mess up, you keep going, act like it never happened. It's like when you fall and you hope nobody saw, you just, you know, pretend that you were tying your shoe and you get back up. You never say you're sorry. Okay, you just keep going with it. That also proves to them that you can improvise and you could figure it out when you're on set. 
is you don't want to be wasting their time. You know, everyone's time on set is very precious. So if you're sitting there saying sorry every single time, that is seconds lost. I think, honestly, the biggest thing that I learned from watching that video is I ended up booking it. And I think it's because I had personality. I was confident. It could have been that I was blabbing about nail polish, but I made it seem like it was something important to me and put life to that story. And I think that's like the most important thing when you go into an audition room. You can be talking about the weather, but if you can convince the cast directors that that was the most interesting story about the weather that they've ever heard, they're gonna remember you. I guarantee you that I am unfortunately burned in these casting directors' minds after that audition tape. Because I'm, I would never forget that if I saw that. And so you want to be memorable. And you want to be memorable to a certain degree and not over the top where, you know, nobody ever wants to see you again. Um, but to the point where they're like, oh my god, that girl, she was talking about her brothers and nail polish. Oh yeah, she was super interesting or she was kind of crazy or she was really funny. Whatever your little thing is that you have about your personality you want to have that on display when you go to an audition and for casting actors to remember you by next up uh here is the slate i look older here still pretty young again i'm wearing the same colored top but now with the jean jacket hey i'm jackie jacobson i'm 15 and i'm with coast to coast and i can eat scorpions I think they asked me to say a special skill in the slate and I couldn't sing or dance so I told them I could eat scorpions. I went to what I know and what I do best and that's eat. I don't know why I said scorpions. All right, what's happening in the tape now? I'm sitting on the couch. Oh, my mom hands me Cheez-Its and I go, uh-uh. I actually love Cheez-Its. I don't know why I would ever mm -mm. not want them. Now she has a bowl of dried scorpions, crickets. And I'm like, oh yeah. And I take that, oh. <laughs> I am trying so hard not to taste it in my mouth. I'm like, Never do that. Never throw a little thumbs up or look into camera in your audition. I don't know what like the premise of this was. Just don't ever look into the camera unless they tell you to and don't do anything like cheesy like this. Okay, so next time you guys like have an audition and they ask you, um, you know, what's a special skill that you have? It doesn't always have to be you either sing or you dance and then otherwise you're untalented. I have learned that if they ask me that, it's like, oh, I can bake or I can cook or, you know, I could do whatever. Um, so start planning those things now and what you think you're good at or if you want to have more skills in the future. So if somebody asks you like, hey, what is something you can do? Be like, oh, I actually just started playing tennis or I could figure skate or I can bake pies. Whatever it is, start planning that now because I guarantee you it's gonna start coming up on auditions and I never want you guys to resort to eating crickets like I did. All right, let's see this. I think this is another slate. Hey, I'm Jackie Jacobson, I'm 15 and I'm with Coast to Coast. Let's say you have um, a really dramatic scene um, as a self tape. You don't want your slate to be like, hey, I'm Jackie, and I'm blah, 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 blah. And then the next thing is like you bawling your eyes out because your dad just got murdered. You kind of want your slate to like slowly ease into the mood of your scene a little bit. I mean, I, you don't need to be bawling your eyes out while you're slating, but um, I would kind of try to match the tone as much as you can. If it's a really happy scene, be super happy. If you're, I don't know, playing somebody who is like really angry I wouldn't necessarily scream in your slate but I'd probably have like a more like neutral like monotone slate than I would for a comedy oh please no no oh my god please no
I think the scene, if I remember correctly, was like, you're kidnapped and you're watching your dad get murdered, do whatever. Um, so you could have made up any lines and I kind of just cried and was like yelling for my dad. Now, I, if I had to do this, I probably would have made a little bit more dialogue to, you know, set where I was, what was happening, what I was seeing. I mean, I definitely look very emotional. And I didn't get it, probably because I didn't even set up what was happening in the scene. It was just me crying with, like, my hands behind my back. Um, but if you're given a little bit of information, you want to create the rest of it. There's no wrong answers when you have the creative freedom to make whatever up. When you have an appetizer, you make a meal out of it. That is the one thing that my acting coach has always taught me. You get a one-liner audition, you get an under five, you get a co-star, you make a meal out of that co-star. You make that co-star feel like she's a series regular, you guys. So making up a whole scenario in your head about what's happening in the one line that they just gave you will completely change it. I promise, and you'll stand out to the casting directors because they'll be like, whoa, you know, you know, the girl before that didn't plan out a whole scene and you could tell the difference. Even if you have the exact same line, knowing what happened before that or why you're saying that line is huge. I think watching your self tapes as hard and as cringy as they might be, I think is the most important thing for you to learn from your mistakes or learn what you did that you liked. You're like, oh, I really like that I made that choice or I'm really happy that I laughed there because nobody else is gonna do that. So if it fits in the scene and it makes sense, try to add something different um, as long as it fits and it makes sense. Don't laugh while you're, you know, killing somebody unless you're crazy and that's what you're supposed to do. Um, so always try to put little different things in there that are gonna make you stand out. Um, but yeah, that was me reacting to my audition tapes. Um, these are going to be put in a file and closed away forever. Hopefully I never have to do this again. Um, also, if there are any videos that you guys want to see specifically, just comment them down below and I will try to film as many of those as I can. I already have some really exciting stuff coming up this week, so I'm so excited for you guys to see.